Hi, in this video, I will illustrate some interesting, unexpected, and general features of simple harmonic oscillators. We are going to use this FET simulation masses and springs, but I want to emphasize that the range of phenomena that can be described as a simple harmonic oscillator motions are very broad. It goes beyond just masses on a spring. All right, so this is masses on springs. When you hang masses on them, you see an illustration of Hooke's law. Where the masses come to a stop are equilibrium positions. This is where the net force on the mass is zero. The downward force of gravity is exactly balanced out by upward force of spring. In all situations that exhibit simple harmonic oscillator motion, there is going to be a stable equilibrium position. When you push your system away from the stable equilibrium, there is a restoring force which brings the system back to the equilibrium. But not immediately. It oscillates back and forth a few times. In fact, the whole reason it comes to a stop at all is because of friction. So let me get rid of that. Now, when you set the mass in motion, let me mark the equilibrium position, it'll oscillate back and forth forever. You could look at this as an illustration of conservation of energy. Over many cycles of oscillation, the total energy remains the same. The only thing that happens is that the energy sloshes back and forth between kinetic energy and the total potential energy. All right, so far, nothing too surprising. Now, let me set up a situation here. First, to stop the time while I'm setting it up. Let me remove this 50 gram mass, hang the 100 gram mass, and this is the equilibrium position. So I am going to set them at different amplitudes. Small amplitude, large amplitude. Now, before I unpause time, here's the question. How do you think these two oscillations will be synchronized? Will one oscillate more quickly, higher frequency, higher hertz than the other? Which one? Let's see. What you are seeing here is that these two simple harmonic oscillators with different amplitudes oscillate at the same frequency. This is a general feature you will see with anything that is approximated as a simple harmonic oscillator motion. You can try to intuitively see why this might be the case. The oscillator with larger amplitude has a larger distance to travel, but because of its larger amplitude, it also has greater energy, which means larger kinetic energy and larger average speed. What I want to emphasize here is that this is a very general phenomenon. This amplitude-independent frequency of oscillation is so general, it is given a special name, natural frequency. That is the frequency at which a given simple harmonic oscillator would oscillate, given a little initial kick from equilibrium. As you see here, it doesn't matter how much of an initial kick you get. In order to change this frequency, you have to change the system itself. For example, if you change the mass, then the frequency will change. The lighter mass means that the oscillation can happen faster. Given the same kinetic energy, the velocity is higher if the mass is smaller. Another way to change the frequency is by changing the property of spring. If you use a more stiff spring, the natural frequency shifts to a higher frequency. While it's paused, let me hang a 100 gram mass here 
and unpause the time and let's see. In other systems of simple harmonic oscillator, what their version of spring constant and mass is will be different. But one thing you can take away is, if you have a simple harmonic oscillator, then its natural frequency is a property of the system. You have to change the system itself, not just the amplitude. By the way, this is how one can measure a mass in the weightless environment of space. You set it to oscillate on a spring, and by measuring its oscillation frequency, you can figure out what its mass is, because the natural frequency, spring constant, and the mass are related to each other. All right, so this was a short demonstration of a simple harmonic oscillator motion. Please let me know if there are any questions. The concepts we introduced here will be useful for other simple harmonic oscillator setups and for the discussion of waves. Bye.